People say, slow but steady wins the race. But what they don't say is that having a good cannon to get rid of your opponents is also very handy. The German heavy tank Tiger 2H is exactly this type of vehicle. It is well armored, so cannot be very fast, and has a cannon that can offer both good penetration and damage. The best balance between both of these things is achieved by using armor-piercing high-explosive rounds. The default rounds. They will be available as soon as the tank is bought. You will also be able to use three more types of ammunition, but being able to doesn't mean that you should, since they don't offer almost anything useful. APCR round has slightly more penetration but significantly less damage, and both heat and high explosive rounds have so little explosives inside that only light vehicles can be damaged. So what's the point of using anything else if you can achieve everything with APHE rounds that are good against pretty much any opponent? APHEs are designed to explode and do damage inside the tank, so most penetrations in the middle of the crew compartment area will result in one-shotting the opponent. Penetration is more than 200 mm depending on distance, which is average at vehicle's battle rating for this type of round. But the muzzle velocity is slightly higher and reload speed is one of the fastest if compared to similar heavy tanks in other nations. With aced crew it's only 7.5 seconds. In general, when playing against lower battle rating tanks there are no issues with penetration. You won't need to waste time aiming since your shell can go through most of the opponents anyway. That often saved me an extra second and I was able to shoot first in those situations when there is no time to aim because the opponent is about to shoot you as well. At the same time, when up to it, you will often meet Soviet or USA heavy tanks that won't be penetratable so easily. You will still be able to damage them even frontally, but that will require aiming for weak spots. When attacking lightly armored vehicles that have armor that is thinner than 12mm, it is possible that your APHE shell's fuse won't activate. Then a couple of machine guns will become useful. One coaxial, so has the same limitations as the main gun, and another one mounted on top that moves more freely and can also be used to ineffectively attack air targets when there is nothing else to do. Though unfortunately both machine guns are low caliber with maximum penetration up to only 10mm, so it won't do any damage if the opponent has at least a little more armor. Tiger 2H has almost impenetrable 150mm thick and most importantly sloped frontal plate. A tank's battle rating only heat rounds will be able to penetrate you there Otherwise, it makes little sense for your opponents to attack your hull. Most of the time when opponents are in front of you, they will try to shoot at your turret because that is your weak spot. Ironically, your weak spot is also the thickest armor on a hull tank. Its plate is made of 185mm thick rolled homogeneous armor. But because it has no slope, your strongest armor plate becomes the weak spot. Most of the time when the tank is being penetrated frontally, it's because enemy's projectile went through the turret. In order to shoot you will always need to expose at least part of your turret and by doing that you will put yourself in danger. So if you have bushes available, put everything to camouflage your front to blur the line where the frontal hull plate ends and the turret starts. This way, sometimes opponents will accidentally hit your hull or slope turret sides instead of much weaker, the thickest armor plate. Sides and back are not sloped, but at least 80mm thick, so you should be pretty much invincible when attacked by flanking SPAs with calibers of up to 30mm or more. Regarding the tank's survivability after being penetrated, I was slightly disappointed. While there is quite big crew, two in the hull and three in a turret, almost everybody attacking you frontally knows that sloped tiger's hull is difficult to penetrate, so people will shoot at your turret. 
and that will often lead to simply being one-shotted since your ammunition is also stored here. To avoid such one-shots or at least make them rarer, before every battle I adjusted the amount of rounds I take into battle, from 10 to 15 or more depending on the size and type of the map. When someone attacks you from the side, the slow turret's rotation speed will not allow you to respond immediately. Sometimes if the opponent has very fast reload, he can attack you twice before you are able to shoot back, that is, if you are still able to do that after being hit twice. Gun depression is 8 degrees, not good, not terrible. Playing hull down is not as useful for Tiger 2H as you already have a very well protected hull. It will make more sense to slowly push towards capture point while your less armored teammates are playing hull down and providing you cover. The tank has no stabilizer and it becomes a big issue when up to it. Since everyone else will be able to fire on the move, therefore opponents will have a first shot. At the same time, for a tank without stabilizer, Tiger's cannon doesn't move that much while driving. But it has more to do with the speed you will be moving rather than stability. The slower and steadier you move, the less cannon wobbles. So it's not surprising that one of the heavier tanks in the game is simply incapable of doing such sudden movements to make the cannon wobble. Tiger 2H maximum speed is 42 kph, a speed that is unreachable anywhere except good roads and even then you will have to move in a straight line for a while. Needless to say that every turn you make will slow you down significantly, which is especially noticeable on city maps where it might get difficult to navigate such big tank around buildings. At least the vehicle has neutral steering so you don't need that much space to turn around and your drive around buildings is not as miserable as it could be. Reverse is 11 kph, which is not bad, especially in combination with 12 launchers of smoke grenades. As long as the driver and engine are not damaged, you will be able to drive backwards to safety faster than the opponent can reload. Arcade game mode was always beneficial to heavy tanks. They become faster, more maneuverable, while still maintaining the advantage of having a bigger cannon. Unfortunately for the Tiger 2 age, its battle rating also becomes bigger, so you will meet stronger opponents more often, up to battle rating 8.0. Those opponents will usually have more penetrating rounds and most importantly, stabilized cannons. On the other hand, these stronger opponents are usually less armored and mostly use heat rounds, which lack post penetration damage, especially in arcade where tanks can survive with only one crew member. So you should feel more or less comfortable with your still one-shotting and penetrating APH rounds. Tiger 2H is a pretty decent vehicle. I would rate it 7 armor piercing high explosions out of 10. The biggest downside of this tank is its speed and maneuverability in general, which is common among heavy tanks. But in addition to that, it is penetratable frontally through the turret by most opponents with most type of rounds. But instead vehicle's offensive capabilities are increased, since it can shoot well penetrating and damaging APHE rounds with one of the shortest reloads. You should use this vehicle if you like heavy tanks because of their firepower rather than protection. 